Passports open the door to travel for Americans, and today I'm in Philadelphia getting a chance to tour the State Department's newest passport agency uh, to see how it works, what it's all about. Good Mark. morning, Secretary Blinken, welcome. So good to see you. I'm Mark Messner, the Regional Director, and this is our new location, the Philadelphia Passport Agency. Let's show you around. It's great to be here, thanks. Tell me a little bit about the building and where we are. So it was built in the 1920s as Philadelphia's downtown post office. Mm. In the 1970s, it was renamed for Robert Nelson Cornelius Nix, mm. the first African-American elected to the House of Representatives from the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Mm. Now it's still a public service and it's open for applying for US passports. So instead of sending a letter, they're gonna go themselves with our little blue book. Ah, I see we have we have some passports. We do. Which, which did not start out as blue books. No, no. So we see the green books here. Yeah. And actually, they started out as just a sheet of paper, not even a book. Huh. But there is something that ties all of these things together. And it's related directly to you, mm. sir, because they start with a salutation or a mm. greeting. The Secretary of State mm -hmm. asks foreign governments to allow people to enter, pass unhindered, and to give all lawful uh, protection. For me, every single day on the job, that's my number one priority. Actually, the, the, uh, the safety and protection of Americans, especially those who are, who are abroad. Mark, I don't know if there's any such thing as a typical day, but if there is... There is. is. So, we have 27 public counters across the U.S. What we do here is to help people who have urgent emergency travel. Hmm. They need to be traveling within 14 days. Usually something has come up, mm. a business opportunity, a death in the family, mm. but most typically they haven't checked the expiration date <laughs> of their passport. They arrive at the airport, so a lot of times we have whole family groups here with their luggage struggling, and our goal is to help them how, get on so their how, way. How quickly can, can we do it? We, we can have... do it, you know, in a few hours, an hour or two, so while you wait, uh, typically we ask people to come back the next day mm. if they can, or we can also express mail it to them overnight. Mm. Check your validity. This is like the number one advice. I, I'll say it over and over again. If you know before you go, I say an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So right now we're in the heart of our agency where our adjudication happens. Most people apply in their hometowns, at their post office or library, clerk of court, and that is a four to six week process. So it's mailed and then it's sent to a big adjudication center. Here, we can turn it around in an hour or two. And how long is a passport good for? 10 years, Ten years for an adult and five years for a minor. So you're gonna help us oh, print okay. passports. So oh, right. this is the blank exemplar. Yeah. Put it in here. So I'll lift this up, you yeah. lay it in there. So I lay it like right here? Right. And does it need to... And then we'll oh, put this in. Right. This does Close thing. the hamper, push the button, and in a few minutes we'll have a passport. Amazing. Having that blue book is the, uh, is is. the first and necessary step. And now when I go home, I'm going to check the uh, validity date of my passport <laughs> just to make sure. 